packing up, getting ready to go, and I was putting my earrings on, and I was like, oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys. So I bought in several pair of just simple gold hoop earrings, and they've been irritating my ears, so I bought another kind of cheaper pair. For a while, they started um, irritating my ears again, and I completely forgot about this um, jewelry brand that I used to wear. This bracelet is about five years old, and I was like, I, and it still looks really good. This is the new one that I have. I accidentally ordered a too small one, so I got a bigger one on the way. Anyway, besides the point, normally when I go on trips, I wear the same jewelry the whole time. However, the bugs didn't look cute with the jewelry, like the bug bites didn't look cute with the jewelry. I just didn't wear a whole lot of jewelry on this trip. However, I did wear these earrings every day. They have not bothered my ear. It's windy, sorry. And it's like, they're like, feather light. So if you're needing like a nice pair of earrings or if you're looking for some jewelry that lasts for a long time, I'll link these below for you. Oh, I forgot to show you the ring. I own tons of their little tiny bands, but they came out with this new one. It's an adjustable one. So cute. Oh my gosh. Good morning. Wow. <laughs> oh, you slept so long, mister. Hi. No. Just kidding. <laughs> now that Lincoln's away, we can finally put the last thing away. Oh, Dad likes it on the bottom. Well, it's going right there for now because okay. Dad is working down right here. Thank you, though. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sweep my way out of here, and then the inside is completely done. Our goal was to leave at 9.30. Guys, my internal clock is stellar. Our two week stint is now up. We're ready to get out of here. We're gonna say a prayer with grandma and grandpa. We try to do one every morning. We forgot a few times, but... but. It's about six o'clock, but we wanted to stop early so that we can finish up our vlog. So we stopped at a store and had to, you know, get some stuff for internet. But we're just at a truck stop, so hopefully we all make it, you know, alive through the night. <laughs> Good grief. We only drove from 85 degree weather in Key West, Florida. To what? Where are we? Tampa-ish? I know I asked last night and I still don't know. But it's freezing! We're getting cleaned up this morning, ready to go, and it is really cold out here. My devil went down to Georgia solo. I am, I am, I am. My shoes aren't on. I look over and this really nice little guy in a truck. This is not the first time this door has rattled open. So, okay. No, I wouldn't think so, but I bet we'll be approaching it. We were at 93 All right. hours. My dad the keys the first has the exact same truck that Joel has. And so literally they get on the walkie-talkie and they talk about the truck and how it's riding and what pressure they've got and what you know, you know, just all the things. <laughs> I think it's really fun that you guys have the exact same truck. So when they troubleshoot, they're talking about it, when they're just talking about upgrade. Oh! Talking about upgrades, they talk about it. What the heck was that? Dad, do you want some edible glass? This is homemade tomato soup that I made a double batch of before we left and I put a bag of it in the freezer. So we're doing tomato soup with grilled cheese sandwiches. Um, I'm just waiting for this to heat up so that I can do the sandwiches over here. You guys seriously know what it's like when kids play games together. I said, anyone that fights or that says something mean, anyone that says something mean, that's the rule, has to do. You said if you raise your voice. Yeah, if you raise your voice, you have to do five push ups. 
That way, I'm not yelling at them. They just have to do something if they do. And you know what? I think that it's helping, okay? I forced them to do this, P.S. They were um, very against it. Joel's wrapping up with editing. We're at a truck stop again tonight. We will be out of Florida tomorrow. So this is officially, we're saying goodbye to Florida today, tomorrow morning. What is that? It's possum. Is it? Oh, yeah. Ugh. Lady, that possum is as big as you. Go potty and let's go. When you have one console and three players and one standby. <laughs> Here's our setup. We officially drove out of Florida this morning and into Alabama. Stopped for a snack right here. Hallie ho, we are back on the road. <laughs> We got to Louisiana early. It's like two, no, it's four. Gosh, I was thinking two o'clock. It's four o'clock. No, it's four. It's actually 420 because the automotive tire place closes at five. We got a nail in our tire. And so Joel's gonna get that fixed, but he's also gonna have them rotate the tires if he can get there in time. So I'm crossing my fingers. It takes 20 minutes to get there and they'll only do it if they have time to do it. So we'll see. Until then, we're going to go explore. So, no, you do not see dad. Disguised as a grandpa. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's the ship of, the, of Louisiana. Nice. We're gonna check out the laundry. I'm thinking we need to take advantage of this while we're here. Yeah, you guys go. Well, there's no. I don't have the code to get into it. Yeah, there are. There are. Wait, that's oh. a nice bathroom. Is there showers in there? Hmm. Oh, cute. There are. There are. And then there's there's showers. Yeah. gorgeous but I have no idea if there are crocodiles in here so we're just gonna it is gorgeous the green on it it is a freezing morning in Louisiana freeze um jacket coat Long sleeve hoodie, well, we closed toe shoes. I, we, huh? Well, we're going horseback riding. Sweater. Right well, we're wearing, we're going to horseback riding and it's gonna rain, so we kind of had to wear them. Mm hmm. Joel went and found us some beignets and some donuts. Wait, do you know what those beignets? You know, that's what he said. I don't exactly know what beignets are. Um, take, take a small mine. bite, it's okay. really spicy. Yeah, it's really, really spicy. Well, guys, show your kids. This is very rare. We found the factory that makes clouds. <laughs> we are in Houston, Texas, and look at the cloud making factory. Pretty special. So we started in Louisiana this morning and we are ending in Texas. We are pausing and staying a couple days in Texas. We are staying here for a couple of days because we have some family here, which is funny because we stopped here in Texas on the way up to uh, the Florida Keys and hung out with Joel's family. We have someone in my mom's family that we're hanging out with and you'll die when you see the place. I'm not gonna show it to you yet. We've been here a good portion of the evening. Um, we're going to end the evening here though and I want each of you kids to tell me what something about your trip so far. What's been your favorite thing, something you've learned? Go first. No, go first. Go ahead. Oh, sorry, um, Olivia. Go ahead. Um, having movie nights with Cash. Aw, what about with your siblings? Oh, and my siblings. <laughs> movie nights? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Oh, it's Olivia's turn. Sorry. <laughs> My, so, I love doing all the activities, but I loved how much we learned. We learned so much about the conch shells, the alligators. Like, it's like, I learned more about it just viewing it and how people told me it than I would normally in school. Like, I wouldn't understand it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be rude, but I learned so much and now I understand it. Like, that will stick with me for the rest of my life. So, it will. Oh, that was I really love cool. It. One of my favorite parts was the conch shells. Oh, yeah, that was my. That was, I mean, that was incredible. Okay. We also made a pet a shark. In the wild, in it real life. It wasn't like an aquarium. Yeah. Like, it was just A baby there. one. Yeah. The conch shell day was my absolute favorite. Go ahead. I like seeing all the manatees, sharks, and eating a sucker for two hours. <laughs> They're huge. Yeah, the big, round suckers from certain gas stations, those have been... Like, most gas stations don't have them, so if we find them, we yeah, get, like, 21. In Logan, every gas station has them. Around here, they're ripped. They're rare a lot. Okay, Linky, what has been something you've really enjoyed this trip? Well, my learned? worst part was the conch shell day because, like, there was, like, so many sea urchins. Okay, so the sea urchins are not your favorite part. They're my worst part. Okay. My favorite part was painting the shark and seeing the manatee's turd. Ew, that was so gross. I think it was a manatee turd. I'm hoping it was a turd. No. It, I mean, it was disgusting. Mom, I you think. Want to tell my favorite part? Mm -hmm. And then my last favorite part. I meant my least favorite part. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, it was um when Grandpa got hurt. Oh, yeah. his poor toe. What do you mean? And that was my favorite. He <laughs> jacked his toe. He jacked his the top of his forehead. He's had, I would say, three boo boos on the trailer truck. I mean, just not good all right thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you're not caught up on our 30-day rv trip click the link in the description and so you can get caught up on our full trip it's been it's been fantastic so okay see you guys later bye show the tv show the tv <laughs> <laughs>